In the meantime, I'm going to introduce our second speaker, Evie Tong, who is going to bring you direct evidence from Kiribati of the resilience not only of the Kiribati people, but also the coral reefs to climate change. Thank you, Evie. Good morning, everyone. Uh, before I'd like to start, I would like to say Maori, which means in my native language, I bless each and every one of you. Um, my name is Evie Tong. I'm from uh, an ocean state called the Republic of Kiribati. And my home consists of 33 atoll islands that beautifully scattered across the heart of the Central Pacific, as you can see right here, from east to west. And the bigger image you're seeing right here is, uh, is our capital island called Tarawa. And as you can see, it's a very small island and a beautiful island. Even though, however, we are, our beauty remains our uh, vulnerability to climate change. Each island stands just two meters above sea level, which renders us to the impacts of climate change. I was just back home a few weeks ago, helping my granddad building and reconstructing our seawall because um, Kiribati has been experiencing extreme weather conditions like strong winds, uh, rising sea levels, which led to flooding, severe floodings, and contamination of freshwater lands, destruction of seawalls, and also, tragically, some residents in our home island has to leave their house and relocate somewhere else. And how do I play this? How do I play? Oh, here's just a, a video of just to show you how, what we had been facing on for decades right now. As you can see in the video, some residents are fighting to hold, uh, are fighting to hold their home as, as uh, strong waves are coming in, they're holding not to the house to not to collapse, as you can see. And this is something that's very emotional sometimes for me. I mean, every time that I look at it, because that's my fellow Ikiribas people. And yeah, sorry, sorry about that. It's just, <laughs> but yeah. This is what we have to face every every day in Kiribati. And um, I had the opportunity to join the National Geographic Pristine Seas to the Southern Line Islands, which is also part of Kiribati. And our, our goal was to, aim, to document and observe the resilience in the Southern Line Islands. These are one of the islands that are protected. As you can see, it's full of corals, full of fish, is a very vibrant marine ecosystem. And this is what we should be seeing all around the world. But due to climate change, the trends of uh, um, coral reef is declining. This is also a reminder to us to be more cautious of what we've been doing and to address more climate change and solutions. Unfortunately, the, the Southern Line Islands wasn't wasn't enjoying such a resilience. As you can see here, in 2016, there was an unprecedented heat wave that occurred across the Central Pacific. And this is what it looks like. Indeed, it is a, it is a very painful sight to see, especially coming and growing up from the, from the Atoll Islands. And most of your resources is depending on the coral reefs, fish. And yeah, it's just very emotional. And again, it's a reminder to us that climate change is not something we're facing in the future, but for us, as the frontliners of climate change, it's something we are facing, and we should do something about it. And it would be great to have uh, have a support from developing countries, countries that actually have the right tools and equipments to address this, and not the other way around. Where um, I did my research in the Southern Line Islands. And um, 
I use the technique called cor coral coring, and that's because coral skeletons tells the the story of the the change the environmental changes in the marine ecosystem. As you can see in the first picture, that's the first picture is a video is a picture of me doing the coring, and the second picture is extracting the coral samples, and the third is actually the same core but it's under the CT scan, and the very this CT image gives us a lot of details of what's been happening on the marine ecosystem. So apparently, this is how the coral is speaking to us and what it's been recording in, this, in the data we've been analyzing. Um, here's one example of the, one of the cores from the Southern Line Islands. And he is basically telling us what he's been experiencing throughout the years, for the last nine years. As you can see on the vertical axis, that's the coral growth. And on the vertical is the time. And what you're seeing here is actually the life history of one of the cores in, in the Southern Line Islands. As I mentioned in 2016, there was an unprecedented heat wave, which there's a decline in growth rate. And the cores actually tells us the process of um, the health the bleach, the death, and the recovery, as you can see. And what's so special about the, the corals in the Southern Line Islands is their capacity to resist, to be resilient against climate change. As you can see, only two and a half years, or already the corals are back to their normal growth rate, which tells us that we have something very special in our waters, in our marine ecosystem, and we should protect them. Um, my narrative of my whole presentation and what I'm trying to picture to you guys is that even though we are the first, the frontliners of climate change, um, we're still resilient to these impacts. And it's um, not just us as humans, but our coral reef is also, we're related to these and basically what the coral reefs is resisting and we have the strength by them and that is why we're resisting and um, we're not sinking or anything but we are fighting for our future and yeah it's just thank you thank you so much evie that was really from the heart i could see his emotion. Um, Evie actually just went home to Kiribati for a few weeks to help his family to rebuild a seawall in front of their home that had collapsed during one of the now many, many king tides that, as you saw, just flooding the homes. But Evie came with a message of resilience and hope, and also a message of the gift to humanity that Kiribati has given us by protecting these magnificent southern line islands. I don't like words that hide